Hey guys, uh, Sam Garcia here. Welcome to Netflix, the show where I tell you what to watch on Netflix. So with that said, let's jump into it. On the day that the election votes were announced, I figured it was a good day to talk about House of Cards. So I know that, that me personally and a lot of others were like, what's going to happen to the show with, with its main character removed, right? So at the end, after the last season came out, Me Too movement comes to light, Kevin Spacey's taken down, and he's fired from the show. And I agreed, and I do, I personally, I agree with Netflix's decision to do that to avoid that inner conflict that a lot of people are have have in the wake of that movement and seeing artists that we've come to know and 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 respect for their art that not everyone is has there's more sides that we wouldn't know and have come to light. With that said, not getting into my my views on that. I think it was the right decision for Netflix. I don't know if the removal of his character from the show was the right decision for the show. So it, it probably wouldn't have worked to replace Kevin Spacey with someone else and have someone else as Francis Underwood. However, I am severely missing that character from the show. The character was very strong. He's a political power hungry, corrupt out the wazoo, like just horrible human being, but very captivating, very a, a, like a, a fully formed character, you know, like he had his faults. He, he made you hate him. He made you hate him in a way that, that you couldn't look away, you know? And sure, you can contribute that to Kevin Spacey to a point, but I really feel like the character on paper was very strong. You know, you, you had a lot to work with there. And Claire, Francis Underwood's wife, who is a co-conspirator in many, many ways, was always a background character to a point. She was not given the same attention. She did not have the same character development and she was not that much of like a point. She's, she's striking. She's very striking. She, she has a presence. She's a strong, almost like chilling presence for a woman. And it's something that like, I, and I'm a fan of the actress, but Claire as a character, she has always been a bit of a trophy wife wanting power, you know? And with that said, she still feels like that to me. I wanted her to blossom. I wanted her to be the super strong, even if I didn't, even if it's the same thing where like you got to hate her, but you love to hate her as a character as, as what they did with Francis Underwood. I would have, I would have been okay with that. But right now it's just like, wow, I don't, I don't feel strongly about her in any way and her now taking over as the main character we're lacking a lot house of cards we're, we're falling short on that character and i think that that's that's gonna be a huge disappointment to a lot of people so i almost feel i, I hate to say that like the show might have to die with the death of francis underwood so spoiler alert francis is dead but you know that in the first like five seconds of the season so like oh he's dead and i don't even know why right so there's a lot that they're like they're almost like teasing you along the show to the point where i don't really get what's going on it's like house of cards has never been a show that you want to just have in the background it's something that you have to pay some you have to give your attention to because it you can get lost in the storyline but not nearly as much as you are now. So like you turn away for a minute before you come back and like, oh shit, someone's dying. Let me rewind a couple seconds. Now it's like, I don't even know what the hell they're talking about if I look away for a couple seconds. I'm like, cause there's no, there's no goal. There's no clear point. There's no motive other than 
keeping now Claire is keeping her place in the White House. That's her job is to maintain her power, but she already has it. So why, why is she acting the way that she does? So a lot of this season, they're playing up the woman card hard. And as much as I would love that used in the right way. So like all woman cabinet, that's awesome, right? That is, that was something that was like, I love that idea. Why did they take that and not run with it a little bit more? Why didn't they make the women in her cabinet stronger characters? Are they afraid that it's going to take away from Claire? If Claire was a strong enough character, that wouldn't be an issue. So that's kind of where we're, we're, we're falling short. And also, as much as they're focusing things on a lot of the characters are women now, a lot of what Claire does is based on like women's issues, decisions, kind of things like that. But it feels more like an act and it doesn't feel empowering. It makes me dislike her in a way that I can't find anything to like, you know, crying and acting depressed to get out of doing things. That is such a misrepresentation of women and such a sh like, kind of like a slap in the face, you know, like, it's just like, that's the, that's how they're going to paint her as someone who just like uses her womanhood as a way to get away with things. She becomes pregnant, spoiler, or whatever. She is pregnant. Not a big spoiler, truthfully. I, I haven't, I haven't finished. Let me be honest right now. I'm about like maybe like six episodes, five, six episodes in. And I'm still like, who am I watching this for? Who, who am I watching this show for? It's not Claire. Claire is falling flat, and which is a real shame because, again, I like the actress. I, I had high hopes for her character. I'm like, she's finally stepping into the light. You know, she's always been in Francis' shadow. Why is she falling so short? She's using... She's just not a strong character, and I'm like, they've... There are a lot of holes here. Why should I like Claire, hate Claire. Don't just make me hate Claire. That's not enough. The reason that Francis Underwood worked as a character is because he had layers, because he was so corrupt that it made you curious to how far he'll go and what a man without limits will do to get what he wants. Claire rides the coattails of Francis up to the top is kind of like, it's like tiptoeing around, like really doing anything other than kind of, kind of messing with someone here, kind of messing with someone there, getting people killed, the same deal. But like, she doesn't get her hands dirty. She seems really fake. She doesn't, she's not likable when she's trying to be likable. And she's only dislikable because she, her decisions, her motives are so watered down. Like she's so watered down and the show has been very watered down. I don't know if they're trying to be careful. I'm not sure what the re rationale for a lot of decisions are, but I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in House of Cards. So to all of you out there, that's up to you whether or not you want to watch. I mean, like part of me, like really, really wants it to turn around, but I feel like that's why I'm doing this show because there's parts of us that fall in love with stories by trade. I am a storyteller. I, I direct and produce and create and make videos and animations and graphic design, all that stuff. So I know that there are, th once you're in a story, once you find something that you like, you or like, whether it's just like, a, I mean, it's still beautifully filmed house of cards or still, writing is there but why do I care Netflix and that's what I'm gonna leave you with so if you want to keep watching I I personally could have skipped it and let the series die with Kevin Spacey's career because Claire's just not doing it for me and I really wanted it to I really wanted like a big punchy awesome female character and it just seems like a swing and a miss. I'll keep watching and I'll let you know, but that's where it, where I'm going to leave it. I'm Sam Garcia. 
This is Netflix. I'll see you later.